From the moment the helmeted, black-suited villain marched onto the screen for the first time, generations of us have been intimidated by Darth Vader. Perceived by many as the best villain in all of film history, Darth Vader is the big bad of the original Star Wars trilogy and in an awesome twist, the hero or protagonist of the prequel trilogy. So how can anyone live up to Vader's legacy or finish what he started? Kylo Ren finds himself in this position as the son of Han Solo and the grandson of Anakin Skywalker himself. With all that Skywalker rage, Kylo Ren commands First Order missions with a temper as fiery as his unconventional lightsaber. Today, we're going to be taking a look at two very special pieces from my Star Wars collection. Life-size busts of the two main villains of the Star Wars original trilogy and sequel trilogy crafted by Sideshow Collectibles. Assembling Vader is a simple process. He comes in two separate boxes, one housing his upper chest piece and the other his iconic helmet. The bust is crafted in fiberglass, polystone and fabric for a realistic representation and I think Sideshow was spot on with this one. Putting the bus together is so satisfying primarily because of how heavy the pieces are, even his helmet. Check out how glossy and accurate his expressionless helmet is. You can somehow still sense the anger and revenge building within him. Discovered as a slave on Tatooine by Qui-Gon Jinn and Obi-Wan Kenobi, Anakin Skywalker had the potential to become one of the most powerful Jedi ever and was believed by some to be the prophesied chosen one who would bring balance to the force. There's something tragic about someone's fall into the dark side being primarily precipitated by love. The boy who loved his mother, his wife and even his son, love was always Anakin's primary emotion and ultimately the source of his downfall. When Anakin falls to the dark side, you could argue that he did in fact bring balance to the Force by wiping out the Jedi Order with two Jedi left standing and two Sith. Some believe he brought balance to the Force by doing away with the Sith and getting rid of evil by overthrowing the Emperor. The I am your father scene continues to be one of the most iconic moments in movie history. The revelation shakes everything Luke's been fighting for. Suddenly, good and evil aren't as defined and Luke must consider what all this means. The question is, does Vader's legacy live on through Kylo Ren? A knight of Ren, a dyad in the Force, a power like life itself, unseen for generations. There's so much to be said about the sequel trilogy and how it has been handled. But I think we can all agree Kylo Ren to be the best thing that has come out of it. A brilliant representation of the grandchild of Darth Vader, the Kylo Ren life-size bus is 29 inches tall and captures the ruthless and intimidating presence of Kylo Ren. Following his grandfather's storied legacy, Kylo Ren has a highly intricate helmet sculpt complete with details of weathering and battle damage as seen in the newest Star Wars trilogy. Filled with rage and hate, Kylo is guilty of committing similar acts of violence as his grandfather and when confronted with his own inner conflict, gave up the dark side for the light just like Vader did. One of my favourite scenes in episode 9 is Ben Solo's sacrifice, giving up his own life to save someone he cares about. In doing so, Kylo achieved something Vader could never do, bring back someone from the dead. It's ironic because Anakin turned to darkness in hopes of saving Padme from death, but Kylo succeeded in saving Rey by turning to the light. In the end, Kylo Ren did in fact complete what Vader started. More than just a Darth Vader wannabe, I'd argue that Vader's legacy did live on through Ben Solo. So what do you guys think? Does Kylo live up to Darth Vader's name? Would you agree that Vader is still one of the best film villains of all time? Let me know in the comments. If you like this video, please subscribe for more content. And thank you for watching.